Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about trying to get rid of excess arm movement in the swing and trying to feel the hands work. A couple things. Two things happen when I see hitters that rely too much on the arms and not enough on the hands. The first thing is, is that you'll see swings that get pushy and they get downhill out front, right? So the barrel is in turn deep. The arms and the upper body outrace the turn of the rest of the body. And so basically you're only really relying on your arms, your upper body to power the swing. And when that happens, you don't get the barrel turned up into the ball as consistently as you want. The other thing that I see happen when there's too much arms involved is that the barrel drags and gets lost. So you'll see this move right here. A lot of arms, no hands working, and you'll see the barrel start to get lost and you'll lose the barrel here. A lot of times actually, people will see this swing and they'll think that it's the back shoulder dropping that's causing the barrel to get under the ball but it's actually too much arms. This rear arm especially will kind of lead, the barrel gets lost, kind of drags through the zone, and I'm not able to release the barrel to the ball, okay? So those are the two things. It's either a pushy upper body out racing the turn, or it's rear arm leading, barrel gets lost back here, okay? Now, how do we get away from relying too much on the arms and feeling the hands being able to turn the barrel back. A couple things. The first thing is that I've got to feel when I'm getting ready to hit that I pull back, all right? So again, in our other videos, we've talked a lot about this, the pullback, getting ready to hit. I want to feel like my elbow, my rear elbow is behind my hands and I am pulling back. I should feel it in my back. It's not a big aggressive move, but I'm letting my arm, you're going to see my elbow start to work back behind me this way. And again, you'll feel it right up the rear side of your, your back, okay? So it's really, really important to get that move. So as I'm getting ready to hit, I start to coil, I start to pull back. And that move right there, make sure that I'm not going to get armsy. Well, you'll see with a lot of players is they'll start here, they'll never pull back, and then two things happen. One, they either just push forward, or two, their elbow, because it's just down here and I'm not pulled back, it's just going to get forward, and then you see what happens to the barrel. So I have to pull back and coil, and now once I get pulled back and coiled from here, when it's time to go, and we talk about feeling the knob start to turn up back here. It's not a big arm action that's gonna do that. It's my hands getting palm up, palm down. So a lot of people talk about the, the barrel going back. And some people interpret that as this move right here. But it's, in the, it's the hands. It's getting this hand to make this action. To get palm up, you see the knob starting to go up. This hand going palm down. That's the move right there. Now, when I make this move and I start to turn the knob up, my arms, my rear arm is gonna work under, my lead arm is gonna work up. But it's not the arm, it's not the arms doing it, it's the hands doing it. And I don't lose that feeling of pull back. When I, if I do lose that, I'll do it from this angle. If I lose this pullback and I go here, I feel that right there, disengage. Now I'm gonna get armsy. But if I feel pulled back and now I start to tilt back and I start to get palm up, palm down, I never lose that feeling of the pullback, okay? It's really, really important. Once you lose it, this arm is gonna get in front and lead and you're gonna get really armsy, okay? Same thing 
We talked about when the upper body outraces the lower body. If I don't pull back, my upper body wants to go forward. And I want to pull back so I can turn the barrel deeper. So I've got to pull back. If I don't pull back, as I'm getting coiled, and I'm just here, I want to go forward. Or I want my rear arm to lead. Okay? So look at your swing. Watch your swing on video. A lot of players, a lot of players, and, and the idea of turning the barrel and getting the barrel to work back, that's all over, you know, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. A lot of players talk about it, but you have to make sure that you're doing it the right way and not thinking, right? I see this move all the time, and I just, I talk to players and say, what are you trying to do with this? And they say, well, I'm trying to get the barrel to work back, but they're going to lose the barrel. It's a really an armsy, a lot of arms working here. Barrel's not really doing anything. Just kind of falling back here and you're going to lose it. First, this feeling right there. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel. Share with all your friends. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.